I keep having technical issues tonight, which means that this is the third time I've done this one. So if I sound really tired, that's fine. <laughs> I'm wearing the Doris set from Playful Promises for Betty Page. I think this is super cute and I regret not getting it in pale pink because it does also come in pale pink. And for some reason I thought that black would be better, but I don't know. I just, I'm having a pale pink moment. Um, anyway, regrettably, I also need a lot more lights because I don't think you can see this. I have had to put this over a Van Der En Kiss Me Deadly set uh, because uh, otherwise I'd bring on the apocalypse via having a body on the internet and being a woman. Um, so you can't necessarily see as much as would be ideal, but you can go to the website and see more. Uh, so this is a cupless bra. It's really more of a bralette. It doesn't have an underwire and it doesn't have a quarter cup. There's literally no structure there. So it fits around your breast rather than doing anything to it. That does mean that it would look really great styled as kind of like a little strappy halter over a top or something. And it also means that it's really great if you don't want to kind of end up with colliding underwires and things like that. It means that you could mix and match it with pretty much anything and give yourself like a strappy halter to go under a low neckline or an interesting dress. Um, don't worry about these. I know that sometimes on some people they do not fit properly, but on this, because they go to an adjustable shoulder strap, like when I got this, it was too loose. Um, so I just shortened the shoulder strap and it's now sitting fine. Um, it has a retro cutout there, which is based on 50 style bras, and it also has a retro stitch detail, which I have no idea where it's showing up on camera. I'm not sure it even shows up in the photos. It's super cute in person. Okay, then there's a suspender belt. Again, very retro and inspiration, so it's quite deep. The front is this non-stretch satin, which is quite crepey in texture. It's not a shiny satin. And then it's got the embroidery details. The embroidery is the same color, whether you pick the black or the baby pink satin. And then it's got an eyelash lace frill around the bottom, which I love. Um, and you could wear this further down. Like on me, I do still have a natural waist here somewhere. I think pretty certain um but if you uh do not kind of go in at any point if you're more straight up and down then you could pull this down and make this into a more hipster kind of style um it has four adjustable suspender straps they are fighting slightly against my opaque winter stockings <laughs> um i might need to get a new set of these i think um and it has gold tone hardware with gold tone clips as well so these are sliders rather than the grips that we put on to kiss me deadly garments and then it has wide gold clips at the bottom at the back on both garments is hooks and eyes and the stretch is also at the back so the front of the garment is non-stretch and then the back of the garment is stretchy mesh if you have problems with hooks and eyes then what i would suggest is that you just put them both on back to front and then do the hooks and eyes up at the front and then whiz them round because they're not super tight fitting garments you'll find that that will work absolutely fine it's not a problem and if you're somebody that struggles with putting stockings on then there are some solutions on the kiss me deadly blog so yeah this is the doris go look for it on the internet i guess also in baby pink <laughs>